Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset your Galaxy S7 Edge. This is a really simple process. You're just going to simply swipe down from the top. And you're going to hit the settings icon right up here. From here, you'll swipe all the way down. So let me just show you. Just swipe all the way down like that and then click the backup and reset button. Once you do this, you're gonna swipe all the way up again. And from here, you're gonna do something very simple and that is just hit the factory data reset button. Now the reason why this is so important is just so if you want to wipe out your device, if you're returning it, or if you happen to be just wanting to fresh start with your device, this is how you would do it. So factory data reset, just tap that right there. And then from here, it will tell you, you are going to lose everything on your device. And that's what we want. So we're just going to hit reset the device and then delete all. Now, this is all we need to do with every device. It will depend on how long it will take by how much you've stored on the device. If you've stored a lot, then it will take longer. On this device, it was pretty much fresh out of the box. So nothing really to uh, do when it comes to that. So once it's finished doing this, then we'll be all set and we will have everything reset to either return to a store, to sell to someone or anything such as this. This will wipe out all of your uh, data that was on your device. As you can see with mine, it erased pretty quickly just because again, we didn't have much on there. How long can this take? Uh, I would say at the most 10 minutes, even if you had a full uh, unit on there, uh, complete full 32 gigs, it would take 10 minutes. But other than that, as you can see, it will go fairly quickly. And you'll know you're done. When this pops up, it's restarting the phone with a fresh start. You have your Samsung logo, followed by most likely your carrier logo. And then it'll be wrapped up with the uh, introduction on what do you want to do with this device. And we got a little delayed on that T-Mobile symbol, but now it has gone away. And it seems to be installing the uh, built-in applications. Uh, typically, it's just uh, the Samsung built-in applications when it does a fresh start. Again, it really does wipe everything out. So even if you had newer versions of the applications, it would wipe those out and then install the uh, factory ones that it typically comes with. And as you can see, this was the screen that we were looking for. So that took a total of about five minutes uh, from start to finish. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been RCKY, the Android guy.